Hey guys, this is B-Man Dan from Authentic White Tiger Kung Fu. One of the questions that we get asked a lot is, how does one become stronger? And we know that not everyone does Kung Fu, although they should, but there's definitely some takeaways, some lessons that we learned here at Kung Fu that could be applied to anybody. And that's what we want to share with you today. Now, before we talk about strength, it's really critical that we reframe what strength really is. And that's one of the beautiful things that my instructor has taught me and our, our other students, but it has to do with uh, Darwin and survival of the fittest. Most people's understanding that is the strongest is going to survive. It's not. It's actually not even the most intelligent or the best looking. Sorry, guys and gals. But it's he or she who is the most adaptable is the one who's going to be perfectly fine no matter what life throws at them. So one of the things I picked up years ago was John Maxwell's Thinking for a Change. So here are three tips straight out of his book. I'm not going to take credit for them, but these are three things that you can implement on a daily basis to make yourself more adaptable. Number one, take a different way home or to work or wherever you're going to go that, that's routine is change up the path. If you change up the physical path here, you're changing your physical path up here, your neural connections, your thinking differently. And that's all, that's all good stuff. Number two is if you're going out to a restaurant and you always get the same thing, stop doing that. Try something else, eat something else, eat something different. And your body loves routine because it's used to a certain comfortability. But what you want to do is get used to being uncomfortable, get used to the change. And guess what? The rest of life, when change happens, you're not, it doesn't affect you anymore. You're just so accustomed to it because you actively seek it out. And if you can handle the change, you can handle all the change in your life because it's the same stuff. It triggers the same emotional response. But if you're able to do that, you're good. You're better off. Number three is anything you can do with your offhand, do it. So if you're used to just picking up your coffee cup or teacup in our case with your right hand, pick up your left. Easy, super simple. I brush my teeth with my left hand. I'm right-handed, obviously, but I brush my teeth with my left hand. And that simple exercise is enough to rewire the brain. So if you're able to apply these three simple things on a daily basis, over time, you're going to be more adaptable and thereby a little bit stronger.